Hello guys, Terra Arts Movie here with another exciting After Effects tutorial and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to do something very cool using After Effects and it is actually pretty easy but before that I want to show you the before footage, the original footage. So this is the original footage and we're gonna ramp review this. As you can see here, this is just a very very original footage like so and this is what we are going to be creating so basically we're going to create this tilt shift or miniature effects so basically all of this gonna be look <laughs> looks like a miniature like a like a toys look at that beep, 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 beep. all right so <laughs> let's just get started with the tutorial now i get this footage from some website and uh if you want you can search for some or you can just record yourself and uh, click and drag it to new composition there you go we are ramp review this first so it will not get some choppy um uh preview and then it's actually pretty easy effect all you're gonna do first layer new create adjustment layer so layer new adjustment layer and we're gonna right click and rename it as blur so first we're gonna add some blur to our footage now now this blur here we're gonna uh, make sure you click the blur the adjustment layer here uh, and go to effect and then blur and sharpen and camera lens blur in uh, uh, I think this is the this is a new effect since after effects CS 5.5 I think if you don't have this you can use fast blur but the same so I'm just gonna use fast blur here and punch up the blur just to 10 for me and as you can see here at the edges you're gonna see some blackness here and to remove that you can click repeat edge pixels boom problem solved there you go now if you use um, if you're using uh, the new version of After Effects there's a fact called effect blur and sharpen camera lens blur and we're gonna s set the blur radius to 10 also and the repeat at pixel also now the difference is as you can see here if you zoom in um, on camera lens blur is it the blur is like a bokeh in your camera not just blur it up blur it out everything like in fast blur camera lens blur is like a bokeh it's like your eyes it's like a camera bokeh as you can see here too there you go there you go though and uh, yep that's the difference so I'm gonna use camera lens blur for now because it looks more realistic as you can see here like a bokeh on a camera while this blur is just blur but this one look at that all right, so next we're gonna set the focus area. So my focus area is gonna be this, this area right here, gonna be my focus area for the. Um, now I know this is not the perfect, the perfect uh, angle for miniature shot. If you want to have a perfect angle of miniature shot, you should you should uh, shot it from the high, higher, you know, higher angle. Uh, look at uh, you look at the uh, some kind of uh, down there you know <laughs> I'm sorry my English is not so good but uh, it will work too so don't you worry so to make the focus area here all you gotta do is get a mask so rectangle tool for me here uh, if you are not on the rectangle tool let's say the ellipse tool just click and hold it and choose rectangle tool and create a nice focus area around here but we got a problem instead of focus area we get the blur area on our box here so go down here open it up and from the add here we're gonna change to subtract so it will do the opposite so we keep this at the at, as a focus area and everything just a blur and uh, if we uh, change it to selection tool and double click on outside here as you can see here it's kind of hard on harsh on the edges here so we can go to mask open it up and mask feather just feather it up for me it's around maybe um, 
200 around 200 there you go and you basically done you can double click on the box here and if you want to play with the focus area you can play it like so and there you go that is the simplest way to do uh, like this one for example just a very nice box there for the focus area and there you go it will do the job but if you want to make it this detail as you can see here I made it detail for the focus area you can make it too <laughs> um, by doing this so go to the pen tool if you want to make uh, a detailed version just add some points so as you can see here I'm adding some points so basically then if you go to selection tool you can just move the points so as you can see here uh, let's say I want to make the focus area is in this building here these buildings actually two of this building one here and one here and uh, this is gonna be the only building that's still in focus and then everything behind it gonna be on a blur um, state and there you go and there you go now it already looks really good but we got another problem um, a miniature or a toys um, actually made of plastic so it will have some more vibrant um, color and uh, more contrast all right as you can see as you can see here it's too soft so we can create layer new adjustment layer another one and then we're gonna right click and rename it as color so you won't mix it up so you won't mix everything up and make sure you click on the color and then go to effect Bur uh, I'm sorry color correction and brightness and contrast and punch the contrast up and then brightness may be down for me here there you go or you can use effect color correction um, curves it will be the same just play with the blackness and uh, play with the black and white area there and then um, color correction again and go to vibrance and then punch the vibrance up just like so and also the saturation up a little bit for me just like so so as you can see here it looks like a toy <laughs> all right so ooh, papa we gonna play no son it's not a toy all right so <laughs> as you can see here if we ramp review this so we already got a very nice looking um miniature effect but uh, in some miniature effect you will have these you know fast movement style so it will look choppy and fast like let's see here <laughs> um, so to do that um, you're gonna go to project your project and your video go to your video as you can see here my video called uh, tutorial right click and then interpret footage and go to main and you can uh, as you can see here you can see conform to frame rate my uh, the original frame rate is 24 frames per second so to make it three times faster for me I'm gonna uh, uh, punch it up to um, around 75 so 75 ooh, not 700 but 75 frames per second and then click OK and as you can see here your um, video your tutorial video on your tutorial uh, composition is already already three times faster as you can see here three times faster there you go now you can just trim your composition to here click N on your keyboard and and then right click on this work area and trim comp to work area there you go you finish you're done great job everyone there you go minute effects all right we're gonna ramp review this and as you can see here there you go all right guys so Terra Arts movie here with uh, tilt shift effects <laughs> I hope you find this useful and see you in the next cool videos and tutorials that was a little bit weird there, so ciao.